That is so dang good looking. Come on. Yo ho ho sha. What is up, Joe Crew? It is me, Joe Crew DMD, and I am here with another box from Japan. This is a box of from Japan, straight from Bandai, to me, thank you Bandai, of the Dragon Ball Super Card Game Sand Showdown, set six of the Unison Warrior series. And I am so psyched to shrip them. If this is your guys' first time here and you wanna see shrip them and Dragon Ball Super Card Game content on a weekly basis, make sure to smush that subscription button if you're a returning member of the Joe Crew. Thank you for coming by. And thank you, Bandai, for sending me this box. I am so excited to see these beautiful, shiny cards. This this is the first time we've ever had four secret rares in a set celebrating the four year anniversary of the Dragon Ball Super Card game in this amazing set, the Sand Showdown. And right on the horizon, we have the Dragon Ball Super Card game national series coming up. National tournaments are happening and these cards are going to be making their appearance in Pasadena, California for North America. And I am so psyched to be there and trip them. And I will see you there if you're gonna be there. Let's get into this trip them. So this is the box. Sand Showdown. The SPRs in this set look amazing. I got to see some in Comic-Con in person. That Pan Secret Rare is really good. People are gonna need to respect that Secret Rare because it is strong. Maybe we'll pull one, who knows? Anyway, this is the box. Let's get into this. We got our shrimp and knife here. Dragon shrimp and knife to get in there. Ooh, slice in the box. And let's see what we pull. There are some really good SRs in this set. And we got a box topper here. It is, oh, this is the Omega Shenron. On Ultimate Darkness SR Box Topper Unique Triple Strike. This guy is good. The uh, Dark Omega Shenron, the the Dark sh Dark Dragon stuff is looking pretty pretty strong. But let's take a look at these packs. Look at this pack art. Vegeta ready to throw down for the showdown. The Sand Showdown Throwdown. Let's just cut, check out a couple of these arts. We got Vegeta, we got Kefla and Kaba. There's the uh, Gohan, Goku, and Goten pack and Tulls, Perlis, but direct Japanese is Tulls, which is also my last name, Den Tull. Anyway, uh, super cool pack art. I am so excited for this Universe 6 stuff, but let's uh, shrip them. And of course, before we get into our full shrip them, we gotta bless them the pack. Oh, Kefla and Kaba, be blessed. Have the most amazing SPR, SCR, fantastic shiny piece of cardboard in here. And um, let's get into these shrip -ums. This is the first pack of this set that I have opened. And I am so excited to see what is in here. We got these Goten Leader, the Rage Shenron, Demonic Blitz getting pounded into the ground. These boys' faces are not going to be in great shape after that attack. This Broly archetype looks really cool. I really like the idea of using extra cards out of your drop area and using that as another resource. And another higher dragon, you're going to be able for those uh, Icarus players out there, you got another Monstacado to combo to activate off your leader skill. I'll probably run Parallels and Foils of that when I play Icarus. So I like that art a lot. King Kai's Planet. So this is the one that works with the uh, Kaioken Goku archetype. Frost Evolutionary Milestone. And yo, SS Broly Annihilation Personified. We got a Parallel Foil Rare here. That is a great looking card. And a Non-Foil Rare for our last card. Next shrimp them. Vegeta looking ever so ready to rumble. The Skill Hunter Majin Buu Unison. I think this Unison is actually pretty good. Finn looks like a really interesting archetype and uh, I'm definitely excited to test it out and see how it plays. I think it's one of the more interesting decks that we've seen and it looks like it has some really unique stuff that it can do. Kaioken Goku Maximum Gains. Yo, this card looks awesome. Look at that flex. Goku is not messing around. You gotta say, the first time Goku goes Kaioken and you see that is just like, I feel like you really feel a sense of power that's emanating from this guy and it's his first kind of like breakthrough transformation what a ride it's been wow these cards actually look really cool next to each other there's a similar composition going on here with their poses where they're just ready to throw down for the sand showdown vegeta's powerball it's a field card natade village monster monstacado and higher dragon's home hita dragon ss sun gohan opposing the demon what a great 
looking card. These cards look so awesome. I feel like on that three drop Gohan from this set, the counter attack, I think the SPR from set seven, I think it's set seven is gonna be a better evolution target than this because it just does so much more, but this is a great looking card. And universe six combination. It's a cool counter attack, different kind of thing. I, I like the, the, I think universe six got a lot of interesting support and it should be a pretty fun archetype to play this set. So I believe we're gonna see two uh, SPRs the way that we've been seeing in these boxes for the last couple boxes. I don't know how many SERs come in a case, but I would guess it's probably still a two, two per case ratio. So probably a one in six chance in getting one in each box, I would guess. Ooh, our first SPR, Ultimate Minus Energy Powerball. Counterattack, if your leader card is mono black, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards with 15,000 power or less, ignoring barrier and send it to its owner's warp. This card gains Shadow Dragon in all areas and permanent if you have a black unison card in play, you can activate this card's counter skill from your hand without paying its energy cost. Interesting, this is the first time that we've seen a uh, black counter support. So that's pretty cool and this ignores barrier. So this can really, uh, this can really get things things out of there. Uh, pretty strong card. Activate battle limit one. Choose one of your black leader cards or battle cards. It gets plus 15,000 power until the end of a battle or the end of a turn, whichever comes first. Interesting. I'm not sure what the deal is with the wording on that, but this is a pretty radical looking card. I gotta say. Wow. Very, very pretty. On to this Gohan, Goten, and Goku Shrippin pack. What could be in here? So that's probably one of the two SPRs, I would guess, that we're going to see here. Khalifa, Spirited Striker. Frost, Goten, Hira Dragon. Hira Dragon! Kuririn Abunai! I'm really, I, w I definitely want to try out this Broly archetype. I don't know how crazy strong it's going to be. And here's our parallel foil Frost, Universal Deception. Ooh, Kaioken Goku, Decisive Battle. Kaioken Sun Goku, Decisive Battle. This card looks really strong. I, I feel like these cards, when you play them, you better know that you're gonna win because if you don't, you're probably gonna lose because I think he minuses your leader card on the following turn, so that's kind of a bummer. But the SPR of this card looks really, really awesome too. I'm really excited to see that card as well. Our next shrimp in here. I think that's, that's just one SR so far. So I don't know if these boxes are kind of color themed the way some of the other boxes have been for this set that we've are in the unison warriors we've seen once you start pulling a certain uh color you seems like the other srs in that box will follow and suit with that color so i don't know if this set is going to follow that there's that majin buu unison parallel foil and yajirobi confronting invasion that's a great looking parallel foil the parallel foils for the unisons in this set look so good that raditz unison from set i think it's set 12 uh is it raditz yeah it's a green unison it just looks so awesome the parallel foil just really pops on these things i wonder if they do the uh the god the god box is happening in these also where if you get a god pack there's a chance that you'll pull a secret rare in that box as well that happened in the last set. This is the counter I was talking about. I think he's a really good target for that uh, SPR from, I think it's set seven. Um, it's a really strong card. Joey Palladino was talking about it on his channel in Cross Worlds. So definitely drop over there and give him a sub if you haven't already. Amazing channel. Oh, yo, this card is so good. Yes, I'm so psyched to pull one of these. This card is so, so strong. And anything yellow, it's a crusher ball that draws and has blocker. I mean, we have not seen something like that. This is just a really, really good card and it looks awesome. Look at how much Goku pops out of the art on this thing. Dang, these cards look good. He really, really just keeps stepping it up. I can't believe it. Wow. Uh, yeah, really strong card. I feel like this is gonna almost be a mandatory four of in every yellow deck because this and Robotic Riposte, the combination of the two just makes it so difficult to be able to play around or, or do things. Like yellow is gonna be very, very strong. It just needs a couple big time finishers. And once it has that, it's gonna be a very, very hard color to deal with, I think. Awesome card. I, I'm so excited to have a play set of these. So, so good. Anytime you have a card, like kind of to gauge how good it is, I like to, count the number of things it does and compare that to how much energy it costs. So, you know, that card is one energy and it blocks, it rests a card, it draws a card. Uh, it's a battle card that comes into play. 
and its cost is reduced if you have extra cards in your drop area. So it's just a really, really strong card that's great. Generic yellow that can be used in a lot of stuff, especially since you have access to so many good yellow extra cards. This hit, actually this this hit on guard is seems like a really good, you can counter for three energy to get a double striker out um, and you get to negate the attack and play this card. So 25K double strike is pretty strong. Three energies, kind of a lot, but in blue, a lot of times you have that versatility. So I think this card could definitely get in there and see more use and play and value. But yeah, the number of things relative to how much energy it costs, that's kind of how I determine value. Um, because, you know, if you think about it, energy cost is like a price. Oh, yo, this blue yellow Vegeta Kaba lessons learned. I think this card is actually pretty good. I think it's strong because you can bottom deck something on arrival. So bottom decking a four or less and you're just paying one energy for it and it has dual attack. So one energy for two attacks plus bottom decking something is pretty strong. Uh, I think this is a pretty good card. I don't know if there's room for it in the list that I'm playing, but I think it's pretty good. Um, but yeah, just counting the number of things a card does relative to how much energy it costs, I think that's a pretty good baseline rule to figure out like how valuable is this card actually. Vados, right on time. Dual attack, counterplay, play this card, and if the battle card being played has energy cost of three or less, return it to its owner's hand instead. If you, during your opponent's turn, reduce the cost of this card by one. So this becomes a two cost counterplay that returns a card to hand and also becomes a dual attack 19K. That's uh, that's pretty strong. That's a pretty good card. And Tien and Chaozu, battle at the tree. Uh, pretty sh pretty strong. Blue, Blue got a lot of really good tools in this set, I think. Um, Blue already has had so much good defense but the ability to just play battle cards that are defending and also are going to gain value for you on your offensive turn is it's really good thin this deck looks crazy definitely want to check it out uh, but yeah just being able to have board pressure building defensively for blue is a really really strong use trunks does he have his eyes closed here yeah he is not looking not looking where he's throwing tian shinhan confronting invasion super combo green tian super combo that's a good looking super combo gotta always appreciate a nice looking shiny super combo there's no arguing with that but he ain't no paragus that's for sure that kale sr also looks pretty fuego crazy five energy for a board wipe but you need to have center seven energy to do the board wipe i just wonder if that five energy is going to be better spent on kill or if you're better off going for turning the tides but turning the tides really isn't you know it's not the best card if you if your opponent has a board state uh established and they have stuff on their board that can deal with attacks turning the tide doesn't always get in there nature's revival what a nice looking parallel foil what a pretty card wow Shenron just hanging out with some animal friends. What an absolutely cool looking card. The parallel foil, the way that it's blocked out on Shenron's body and the animals and this cool kind of shiny thing going on in the background here. So rad. Raditz. Oh God. This man has a long tail. Next, Shrippum. What do we got here? Sun Gohan, Simeon Revenge. I don't know how I feel about the Gohan archetype. I think the archetypes in general in this set will be really fun to play against each other. I don't think any of them are necessarily meta relevant without the exception of maybe Kaba and possibly Broly, but I have to test them and see how they actually work. Absorption of Doom, counterattack if your leader is a black fin, negate the attack. Additionally, if your opponent has a skillless card or a unison card in play, they can only attack for two more times with a turn. Cool, so it's kind of like a uh, Nimbus in effect, but you have to be playing it in fin. Interesting. And ultimate flame shot. Very cool. But yeah, I don't know how meta-defining the leaders in this set are. Definitely some cards. Like there's some very, very strong cards that I'm very excited about. Oh, here's that TN super combo again. What else we got here? Raisin, the power of the tree. Bubbles, Magetta. Look at that, 30K. This is gonna look so good in parallel foil. Oh man, I love vanilla shiny cards. Shiny vanilla cards. Sign me up. I'm in for it. I'm into it. I wanna see them all. I want to see them all. I want to look. Wow, Vegeta's Powerball Parallel Foil. That is good looking. Whoa, man. After seeing a couple of those in non-foil and seeing the foil, yo, sha, that is a good looking shiny piece of cardboard. Wow. Look at that. And Dai's Power of the Tree. 
but I think I've only, I've only pulled two SRs so far. I got the Goku, and one was green and one was yellow, so maybe they aren't, uh, maybe these boxes aren't color locked the way that they have been in the past, which I think would be good. I like getting a variety of colors in a box because I'm usually buying a couple boxes anyway. I'm not, you know, gonna build a deck right out of one box. I could see how that could be appealing for some players. Yo, here we go. Skillless parallel foil monster card. Earthling monster 20K. So great. I love these. Oh, and they even made his eyes. Is his eyes shiny? No, his eyes aren't shiny. Yeah. Oh, Dark Broly Resident Obliteration. I think this unison is pretty strong because you get to search the top five and grab an extra card and the whole deck kind of runs off the extra cards. Wow, this looks really good. This almost looks like an SPR. It's got really thin hollow foil kind of on the on this part of the card here that's really outlining that black. That looks bold. That is a really, really cool looking SR. Wow, yeah, I definitely want to try this deck out and see what it does. Um, you know, it seems like you can do a lot with a little bit of energy. Um, the extra cards in this in the deck are extra cards in the in the deck are really strong. So I think just being able to access them and they're just really good. Give cards crit, give things double strike, play out of your drop, have a bunch of extra cards down there, and then just gain tons of value out of them. Really cool. I love that Kyle Ken Goku card. Hide <laughs> Dragon. Hide hide! Yo, this looks great. This is definitely the one I'm running for sure. Wow, it's so good. It's so shiny. What a great looking parallel foil. Just taking a nap, taking it easy. It's been a tough day of flying, can you imagine? And Kefla Universe 6 Fusion Warrior. You have to love those parallel foils. How can you not? They're so good looking. Rip them. We got here full power frost scout. Little Gohi getting choked out over here. Curlis is not the nicest guy. He looks just like Goku. That might have been, must have been awfully frightening for Gohan as he used. See this man that looks just like his dad that's being a total jerk. Look at that Krillin wearing the threads. It's part of the squad. Vegeta's Powerball and Plains Monster. We got another monster parallel foil. There's a lot of skillless in the set, I think. So it's gonna be fun to open a lot of this skillless parallel foil. They're such good looking cards. And there's that Vados we pulled earlier. Got a handful of packs left here. It's still, I think we still have one SPR. If the ratios are still the same, one SPR and uh, uh, maybe two more SRs. And of course, chance at a secret rare. I haven't ever pulled a secret rare from a box that Bandai sent me. I would love to. Maybe one day I'll strip him one. But ooh, Kale, Universe 6 combination. What a good looking parallel foil. Counterattack, negate the attack and play this card. And you can drop the cost by two. So getting a three drop 10K battle card out for one energy, that's pretty good. And then it also has the heroic prospect effect, I think. So they basically can't swing with bigger battle cards unless they bottom deck too. So that's really good, but it uh, specifically works in the Kale archetype, which is cool. I like that idea. Strip him. We got that pan up here. Card's so good. So good. Everybody's gonna have to respect Pan. There will not be a future anymore where players cannot respect the Pan. It has to be. It must be the respect for Pan. And I like that they brought that card in. I think the art on that card is so cool. Ooh, Piccolo confronting the invasion. Wow, that Cyberman is getting whacked. Look at his back. You can see Piccolo's fist punching all the way into this guy's back. That's really gotta hurt. Look at his face. He does not look that he looks too good. Oh, ow, his eyes are just popping out and they're beat red. That is a swift bop. Nice hit, Pickles. Really nice. And training goals, Son Goku. Oh man, remember he was trying to hit, he was trying to hit this man, Gregory, in the little bubble. You gotta train. It's the only way you can do your Kaioken. Kaioken you. Shrip him. SS Kaba. Turles. Accused power. Got that Gohan. Bubbles. Dabra. Dr. Rhoda. Sun Gohan. Rageful Fury. King Kai's Planet. Again. Great Ape Vegeta. And Monstrous Encounter. Counterattack. Good looking. All this all this space up here that they get all shiny. It just looks so great. Ooh! Kaba! Proud Zenith. This card is sick. It's three energy to play this guy during uh, your main phase or battle step, which is cool because if you play him during your turn, you get to draw two cards. So three energy for plus a 19k dual attacker with blocker and draw two is really good. I mean, if, it, if an ape, a draw ape is pay two, draw two, and this guy is basically just pay three, draw two, plus a dual attack blocker, uh, 19k, that's really, really good. And then if he's played defensively, you get to bottom deck something and switch an energy back. So he essentially becomes a two cost, but you need a total of 
three or more blue and or yellow cards in your battle and or combo area when you play this guy from your hand. Good card. I think this card is really good. And Sand Showdown, another rip him. There's a lot of really annoying one drop that you kind of just need to like clear out. And I think uh, Blue has some answers to that with these newer cards that are coming out. So it's exciting to see these cards for sure. There's that parallel foil we just pulled. Non-foil, Trunks, and Tree of Might, Divine Roots. Great looking card there as well. Ooh, here's the Goku and Hit. These guys are looking slim. It's uh, a Aegis Blue Yellow. It costs three. I guess what's cool about this is there's a blue yellow multicolor card in your energy. You get to reduce the combo cost card in your hand by one. So it kind of becomes like the hit rapid movement. Um, and I guess this card actually kind of has more value than hit rapid movement because he can become a 20k crit if need be. And in blue, oftentimes you'll have, you know, extra energy. So I think this guy's pretty good. And, you know, if you need to play him, you will be able to untap off Aegis, which is useful. So good card. I think that's an upgrade from rapid movement. And our next shrip we got a Kefla pack here. To shrip them, Yamcha, Battle at the Tree, Vegeta and Kaba. That Broly leader, this Broly leader looks awesome. Can't wait to play this guy, so rad. Love to pull a parallel foil of that uh, Goku hit, actually. I think that card's pretty strong. Maximum gains and ooh, Finn Apocalyptic Absorption. That is a good looking leader. Wow, ho oh, ho, really, really rad. This guy's crazy. Uh, I'm excited to see what people do with him. I think a lot of the cards are basically in this archetype, but it's a strong leader and a strong effect to just kind of absorb your opponent's cards and then, you know, burp them back out as skillless cards. Pretty strong. Tien, Broly, North Kai, Goten, Dabra, Khalifla, Raisin, and Lakasai. I don't know how you say that. Frost and Kakao, Power of the Tree. Y'all getting mad power from the tree. This parallel foil actually looks really good. Look at this Power Ranger looking shiny armored prince of the Armageddon. Wow, look at that shininess. It's so good. They do oh, demonic playtime. Very excited to play this card. Rip them. What do we got here? Rage Shenron. Man, are there two SPRs per box? We're about to find out because we've only pulled one SPR so far. So there should be, there should be one more if the ratios are the same. Miracle Kamehameha and another Finn. This is the Unison, three cost Unison. That three cost Unison counterplay, uh, the three drop Unison counterplay, the Videl, she got an SPR also actually. I think that card's really, really good. Um, but yeah, lots of just like strong cards in this set. Uh, archetypes, I don't know about necessarily. Oh, hoo -hoo, we got a God Pack here. This is a God Pack. So there will be another SPR at the back of this pack. And that means that there's a chance that that's a secret rare. That I think if there, if this set is the same way, that means there's a 50-50 a chance that could be a secret rare, I think. Wow, we're about to see a bunch of shiny cards here. Great Ape Vegeta, Universe 6 hit combination, shiny. Yamcha, confronting the invasion, shiny. SS Broly, awakened attacker. Here's that super combo for the Broly archetype, and it is shiny. North Kai, Master's Guidance, looking very shiny. Bubbles Kun over there, and Gregory Kun. Omega Shenron, Darkness Absorbed. What SRs are we gonna pull? About to find out. Trunks Journey Beginning, that's a great looking parallel foil. The Khalifla Unison, looking really shiny and really good. And Kefla, Unending Evolution, this card's really good. This card's really strong. Unfortunately, it only gets its really good effect if you're playing it from the deck, but it's still a strong resource and option. And oh, yo, hit Battlefield Manipulator. This unison is pretty, pretty strong. The fact that you can just flip one of your opponent's leader for a minus one, you do have to pay two, but that's good. This is a good turn two play in a lot of blue decks or even a late game play just to flip your leader and kind of slow the play of the game. Really strong. Oh, yo, Turles, all too easy. This card is awesome. This card is so strong. Uh, it's, you pay two and you can just KO something in rest mode. And yellow has the ability to rest so 
so many cards. Two energy for a 20k double strike that KOs something and when you play it you get to draw a card or you can KO a second card is a really really strong effect. So really cool card. And ooh, Kaioken Son Goku decisive battle. Yes, this SPR looks awesome. What a fantastic looking SPR. Wow, I love this scene. I love this moment. It's so great that it finally got a card. Woo! Yosh. Probably gonna have to take a closer look at that one. Wow. So shiny, so strong, and so good. Isn't that great when you just get beautiful looking cards that are like really useful also? Double strike, barrier, dual attack, deflect. That's a lot of keyword skills to put on a card. So this guy is dangerous once you get in there. Amazing. What an amazing box. And here we go. The Blessum the Pack. Let's see what's in this Blessum. Shrip them. It could be, there is a chance that it could be something amazingly shiny back here, but the only way to find out is to shrip them. If it is, well, I don't know. I don't remember how many SRs we pulled. If we already pulled five SRs, I haven't been counting, then it won't be, but Power of the Tree and Gohan, little Gohi. What a great looking pose. Strikes the pose, elbow to elbow, ready to fight. He's been training with his uncle, Piccolo. He's turned him into the man that he's going to be. And that is the box. That's the first box of Sand Showdown. Definitely gotta take a closer look at this Goku Vegeta SPR. And there it is. Oh, whoa. Oh, wow, would you look at that? Oh, ooh, ha. Ah. Yo, this is a good looking piece of shiny hardboard. Wow, the detail on there, that's uh, the fine gold printing. Whoa, come on. Oh, ah, yeah, that is so dang good looking. Come on, give me a break with this thing. Wow, Bandai, take it easy. Whoa, oh, oh, wow. Ooh. Ah. It's dangerous, you gotta be careful looking at these things too long. This beauty of these cards will just shin singe your pupils right off because they look so dang good. They're so shiny. Wow, print quality on these things is insane. And the composition on these cards is just really awesome. The way that the art is laid out relative to the text and all the cool stuff it does. Oh man, what an amazingly fun game to shrip them and play. Anyway guys, that was a shrip them. We just shrip them this box of this new set, Sand Showdown Unison Warrior set six. I hope you guys are excited, as excited as me to see it and play it. Thank you, Bandai, for sending me this box. Thank you, everybody, for coming by. I am a dentist. I can't end the episode without doing a dental tooth tip. Avoid biting your fingernails. I know some people may have told you in your life if you bite your fingernails, don't bite your fingernails, but it's helpful to understand why you shouldn't bite your fingernails. The reason why it's bad to bite your fingernails is because it puts pressure on your teeth that can eventually make your teeth go out of line and get more crooked faster because you're putting forces on your teeth. The other thing it puts force on is your temporomandibular joint. So your temporomandibular joint is a bilateral joint. It's the only bilateral joint in your body. And when you bite on your fingernails, the condyle of your mandible comes down the eminence of the fossa that it lives in. And you're putting an unnatural pressure on the disc that separates that condyle from the head of the fossa there. So when you put this pressure on and this angle, which you're not supposed to really do with a lot of force normally when you bite your teeth bite like that in a shearing motion that force over time damages this joint and can cause severe headaches joint pain and the likes so avoid biting your fingernails and that's why i am joku dmd and i will see you guys next time